protest cuts across several streets of Makodi, the Benue state capital, as part of 16 days of activism against gender-based violence. This protest is seeking justice for Karen Hapuch, a 14-year-old girl, Benue State Indigen, attending a private school in Abuja where the incident allegedly took place earlier this year. Her mother is still grieving. From the doctor report says um, the rape and the condom that was left in her caused an infection which led to sepsis and then triggered hyperglycemia. Addressing the protesters at the Benue State House of Assembly, the lead CSO called on the Ministers of Education and Women Affairs to step up for Karen. In our minds, Karen did not die. The protesters then meet with the representative of the wife of Benue State Governor, Dr. Eunice Autumn, who gives assurances that the government will wade into the situation. We tried to be able to be part of what is happening and to understand and get as much information as we can. And what I have said now is that we are going to work with them. We are going to sit with them. We are going to look at the best options for us to follow and together, including you, we should be able to take a decision going forward. Six months after the death of Karen Hapuch, following complications from an alleged rape incident at the Premier Academy Abuja, the protesters believe more needs to be done to get to the bottom of the incident that led to the minor's death.